Hi everyone, I'm Johnny and today we are reviewing Zen Ben Fu, an important film that fills a large gap in cinematic history. The film covers events in Indochina, present-day Vietnam, where French colonial forces fought in the First Indochina War, which set the stage for the second, known in the United States as the Vietnam War. The movie portrays the Battle of Dien Ben Phu, a 55-day siege in 1954. This was a climatic confrontation between the French Union's colonial Far East Expeditionary Corps and the Viet Minh Communist Revolutionaries. The battle was fought in northwest Vietnam. Dien Ben Phu was a strategic location in that it threatened supply and troop movements to Laos and the rest of Vietnam, coming from the north, most critically, China. The region was mountainous, and the chain of French fortified garrisons was supported by a small airstrip. French paratroopers were critical to defending the region. Altogether, the French brought in more than 15,000 troops. The French, tired of guerrilla warfare, wanted to provoke the Viet Minh into an all-out attack. The French would get what they wanted. However, they would become badly outnumbered against the Viet Minh, who had some 50,000 men supplied by the Soviets in China. What particularly caught the French off guard were the artillery positions of the Viet Minh, which were moved into position and dug in on difficult terrain. Viet Minh artillery disabled the airstrip, and the French could only rely on dangerous airdrops. 62 aircraft were lost during the battle, another 167 were damaged. Fighting began to resemble World War I. The Viet Minh dug trenches closer and closer to the French lines. The French were eventually defeated on May 7, 1954. The French army lost more than 2,200 soldiers, and almost 11,000 were captured, of which only 3,300 would make it home. Viet Minh casualties were estimated by the French at 8,000 dead, 15,000 wounded. The July 1954 peace agreement called for a temporary partition dividing North and South Vietnam, with a unified national election to be held in 1956 which never happened. Emerging from the conflict was a communist North Vietnam supported by the USSR and China, and a South Vietnam supported by the United States. A resemblance of peace lasted only a few months. Dien Ben Phu was directed by Pierre Schondoffer, a French veteran of the First Indochina War. He was a war cameraman. The film had a large budget of $30 million and is highly regarded. It was produced with the cooperation of the French and Vietnamese armed forces. Much of the filming takes place in the real historic locations. The film is considered a docudrama, making the events relatively easy to follow. The film transitions from Hanoi City, Dien Bien Phu, and Hanoi Civilian Airport, providing several perspectives on the developing battle. Much of the Hanoi scenes follow Howard Simpson, a British-American writer-reporter, his various contacts in the city offer diverse views of the war. War scenes are captivating, and again much emphasis is placed on perspectives, with several characters representing different archetypes found in battle, a spectrum between cowardly and brave. The film highlights the diversity of the French forces in the region at the time, including perspectives from French-trained Vietnamese soldiers fighting for the French-created State of Vietnam that existed between 1949 and 1955. The director based many of the men on his own experiences, including casting his son in the film, playing an army cameraman, using the same camera he did during the actual battle. This exact scene is a recreation of the director's experience. The production value for the film is excellent, as is the acting, pacing, setting, and score. The director perfectly captures the mood of the event. All right, I'm Johnny. Do check out Zen Ben Phu. The movie offers some great perspective beyond the Vietnam War and the Second World War on how Southeast Asia was shaped by never-ending colonial ambition and war. Like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. And have a nice rest of your day.